Just want to thank each and every one of you for watching the video. I'm Derek Furlow Jr. and you're finna get a chance to tune in to SLB Sports Life Business, the ultimate transition. What we're here to do today is show you how you can take these lessons you learned as an athlete, or whether you're just watching sports from a, from a perspective, from a, a, from, a, some, from a viewer's perspective, and how you can take those lessons you've learned or that you're seeing athletes go through or learn, how you can apply those in your life and your business. So what I have with me today is, is like a brother with me, LaMarcus Thompson. I'm gonna get a chance to interview him, the first official SLB Ultimate Transition interview. It's just gonna give you a chance to see um, from an athlete perspective, the athletes, as you're coming out of whatever field you're coming out of, whatever sport you're coming out of, how you can take those lessons you're learning from that game and how you can apply them in life and in business and help you transition. And for those who never played a sport in their life, if you're an avid sports watcher, how you can take those lessons that you're seeing athletes learn and what they're doing on the field and how, they, how you can help those apply in your life and your business. So I'm sitting here with Marcus Simpson. Some people may not know you. They may know you if, they, if they're familiar with the University of Tennessee. So just introduce yourself to the people right quick. My name is Marcus Thompson, like I said, uh, ex-football player. I used to play for the Tennessee Volunteers. Also played with the Atlanta Falcons, you know, moving into the uh, the automo automotive world. Like I said, now I'm a finance manager. And uh, definitely, you know, applied a lot of stuff from football uh, to, to, you know, career work and things of that nature. There. So, you know, I'm just happy to hear, be with my boy Furlow. That's it, you that's know, it. We'll definitely get this thing rolling. So that's it. So, knowing that, knowing that you, you, you made it to the league, you actually fulfilled the dream. It didn't last as long as you wanted it to last. Do you feel that sports taught you some lessons that you were able to apply in life or in business? Uh, definitely, definitely. A lot, a lot of lessons that you learn, you know, it, it comes from over time. You, know, you, you learn a lot of life lessons in the game of football. Basically, like I was saying earlier, time management. You learn things like, uh, you know, how to apply, you know, different work ethics at different times. You, you know when you need to work and when you need to play, when you need to do, you know, apply yourself, you know. So that's probably the biggest thing is apply yourself because in the game of football, you definitely have to apply yourself in, you know, everyday uh, everyday activities, you know, whether it's lifting weights, whether it's, you know, running, and whether it's training, you have to push yourself to that next level, you know what I mean, because it's hard, it's tough. And the same with life, it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough, there's going to be times where you think you can't do it. You know what I mean? But you remember that you pushed on, you, you found that sixth gear. You know what I mean? That, that big year, a lot of people, a lot of average people that don't play ball don't have. Yeah. And, you know, and a lot of these employers, they know about that gear. You know, they know that, you know, athletes going to have a drive. They're going to have that fire behind them that's going to, you know, push them farther, even push the people that's around them farther. Because you're going to set the example, you're going to set the tone at the, in the job, in the workforce. So, you know, a lot of employers want that type of guy, you know, working for them or in their business or, you know, or leading their business. So, it's a definitely, definitely teach a lot of this. You hit someone right on the head, knowing how to apply that. When do you think it registered for you that, hey, what I did during football, I can carry that over into life or into business? When do you think that moment hit when it registered to you? I, I say when that, it, the, that moment registered when you actually got to the workforce and you see you know, you see guys that, you know, say, that had, wasn't student athletes or weren't athletes that, you know, it seems like simple tasks that you did in school, you know, they, they made it really, really tough. You know what I mean? It's like, this is something that's easy. You know, this was nothing in college because you had to have a schedule where you had to 6 o'clock in the morning, you had to go all the way to 9 o'clock at night, then you had homework, then you had other things to do. So your time management was on a whole different level than a lot of people are accustomed or a lot of people are used to. So basically, you know, when I got into the workforce, mm -hmm. you know, I can see that, hey, you know, this is easy. You know, this is something that was a lot easier than college, you know what I mean? So something that seems like a hard task to do to a student athlete would probably be a lot easier you know, because you learn those lessons from college. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Do you feel that you were prepared that way because you, you, you got it? Or did the college or the university have a program that actually showed you how to do it? A lot of times it, it's come from both areas. You know, a lot of times you have a lot of home training. You know what I mean, that's that's the well, that's the foundation. You know, what I mean, home training from home. But even the guys that didn't have that home training, they still got that foundation from college. That's why I said it could come from both areas. Now, if you got it from both areas, of course, you're gonna be well off, better mm -hmm. off. If you got it from one of the areas, you're still gonna be in a position to where you can actually apply it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have those areas from both places you won't know how to get into that force and do what you got to do it's going to take you a longer time to 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 find that one to build on that you know what i mean so it definitely gives you a step up 
in the workforce when you start, when you have those, you know, areas kind of applied already. Because you sound like you got a little of, of an advantage. I wouldn't say an advantage from the school part, but definitely from the home part. Because oh, I know it's, yeah. we, we play with a lot of the same guys. Mm -hmm. But everybody didn't come out and exactly. have, were able to transition or have that carryover as right. smooth as you had it. What do you feel was probably the major, the biggest difference? Because, I mean, everybody, if you play at the same universities, what did you learn that they didn't learn? Because it's something that made your transition a whole lot smoother than a lot of guys who may have played with, even though a lot of them may have done well. It's, it's a good amount that come out once the game is over that struggle. What do you feel may have been a difference that you, you noticed that they didn't or you picked up on that they didn't? 100 home track. 100%. I mean, it's basically how you was brought up, how you was raised. You know, before I played football, you know, I had, you know, schedules. I had to do this, I had to do those chores. You had to make sure this was done. Um, my uh, my friends, when I was real young, they called me and said, no, you know, you're a slave at a, at a house there. You're up to your mom because she'll make me paint the garage. She'll make me cut the grass. She'll make me do a lot more stuff that I learned really, really young that I'm still applying today, you know what I mean? Taking care of house and home, you know, so. Uh, that's probably one of the major things that, you know, hmm. have a small, you know, big difference actually. Big difference between the two guys, the guy that learned a little later on in life and the guy that learned earlier in life. So it's a smoother transition for the guy that might have learned earlier in life. So what you're saying, when we think about sports like business, you lo you use some stuff you learned in life earlier that you was able to apply in sports. sports exactly. And then once you got done playing with sports, you was able to enhance what you already learned in life. Now you have to apply them in life and your business. Right. So let me ask you this. As far as a program, do you feel, with, with the amount of guys that might not have that, that home upbringing or might catch it later in, in, in college, if there was a program that a university offered a curriculum that could teach some of those things, do you feel there's a need for it? Oh, definitely. Definitely, definitely should have a life skills program in every university. Um, simply because you might have those guys that didn't have that home training, you know what I mean? And, and a life skills program would, you know, 100% help that person get that edge that they need or that edge that they didn't get before they got to college, you know what I mean? So a life skills program, you know, would definitely 100% help anybody, definitely. So if you was coming out, yeah. if, you, if you didn't have all the, the stuff that you learned early in life that, that made you great at sports and then being able to take, your, take that platform of sports and, and apply it in life and business again, if you was coming out and there was a book or there was a curriculum that you could read or a life skill program out there, what would be some topics that you would want it to be covered in that book or in that curriculum that, that you can learn First thing, what would be some topics? If you can name two or three topics, or your first, or your top three topics, what would, we, what would you want to be covered in that book? Uh, first of all, time management. That's that's probably one of the biggest things that a lot of people, you know, miss out on is their time management. Uh, probably work ethic. You know, that's definitely one that without work ethic you can't be able to do anything in life. I'm just going to be honest with you without that work ethic because you can start something, but if you can't finish that, you know, that's that's something you're never going to achieve anything. You know what I mean? Um, Probably the last one, I'd probably say, ah, probably stuck on the last one, like I said. Oh, good. Okay, so so, so your, your, first, your top two would be time management and work there? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's not like those were the two that was ingrained in you that you was able to take and learn and apply and still use today. If that was anything that you could do over or if you wish you would have learned in college before you got into the real world, what, 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 what would something be? If it's something, hey, I learned this after I got in the real world that I didn't know when I got out of college that I probably if I would learn this earlier it would have helped me. What what would what would that be? Man, to be honest with you, you know, in, in my situation it's it's not many things. You know, I mean just because you had the, the home training, you had the college training, you know. So I'm pretty sure I'm missing something, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just can't go off the top of the dome right now, but I think I was definitely well prepared from these situations and the life skills that you learn from, say, home, from college, the programs they had in place there to make you a better man, make you a better person in life. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. It's going to come to me. It's probably going to pop in my it's head as soon as we're done It's with all it. good. But, um, but right off top, I think, I think, I think it's You, you had enough of the foundation that allowed you to make that transition so you was able to get into that work world and not be shocked or, right. or, or exactly. out of place or feel like you was behind. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, even if you didn't know something, you can apply different things that you learn to get that something smoothed out, or you learn it really fast, or you get really, really into the game to where you don't have, you're not struggling. You see what I'm saying? You're not, you're not behind. You know what I mean, you might be a step behind, but you catch up really quick because you learn the skill set to learn that real fast. So that's that's 
that's probably why I say the weaknesses, things of that nature, are probably not necessarily weaknesses. It's just you don't know them at the time. You know what I mean? But you're going to learn them because you have those base skill sets to learn. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't have those base skill sets to where they can go ahead and put it on, catch on quick, you know, be coachable, basically. Because uh, that's probably one of the most important things. If you said anything in your book, coachability, you know, being a coachable person, that's probably my third one there. Coachable. So let me ask you this. It's a lot of guys that come out that when they play, they might have been coachable to some degree. And then when they come out, I don't think they registered that, hey, I still got to be coachable in life and in business. And just because you might have had the name or a stage when you was playing, it, it still ain't going to get any easier once you're out because you still got to have those, the same same, exactly. same exactly. things. Exactly. Okay, so let me ask you this. As, as we're going to wrap this thing on up, if there was – it's gonna be a lot of guys that's gonna come behind you. If there was a lesson or two that you can teach them or tell them that they need to learn while they're still in college that, that they can use and apply by the time it's time for them to transition, if there was some wisdom you can leave to them, what, what would you leave them? 100% be coachable, 100%. I mean, you can have all the talent, you can have all the skill, like I said, you can be fast, strong, but if you, if you don't have that coachability, if somebody can't tell you what to do and you apply what you just learned, to say the field, or you apply what you just learned to the workforce, if you apply that to life, if you can't do that, you know what I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be tough on you, you know what I mean? So coachability uh, would probably be the number one thing I say to my list. So coachability, number one thing on this list is that time management, time management. and you said work it. Okay. So let me ask you this, as we, as we conclude with, with the sports life business and the ultimate transition, do you feel that sports or your game that you play has a direct correlation with life and business? 100%. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. And, and do you feel that if athletes that's playing whatever sport they're playing, if they can learn those skill set in their sport, if they can use them and apply them, they can be able to transition smoother if they can apply those same skills in life and in business? To anything, yes. To absolutely anything. Absolutely, absolutely serious. Well, you, you're hearing it from the market something itself. You hear me, Derek Furlow Jr. as well. I want to give you an inside thought process that's going to help you transition, whether you're playing a game or whether you're watching a game, transition from sports and life and in business by some of the basic principles that you're learning every single day in life that may transition into sports and in business, or you may learn them in sports and they may transition over to life and in business. But at the end of the day, if you can learn one thing in, in sports from watching it or playing it, you definitely can let that lesson be used and apply it in life and in business and give you the ultimate transition, the ultimate success rate. It's going to give you a whole a whole nother edge when it comes down to everything that you're doing. So we're going to wrap this thing up. In the meantime, y'all stay tuned and make sure you like, like the channel, Derek Furlow Jr. It's on YouTube. We're going to be back and back and back and back over and over and over again giving you these nuggets. It's going to allow you to transition like a champion. In the meantime, in between time, y'all stay blessed and we'll see y'all again.